Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. It did not fall. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and it fell with a great crash. This is one of the easiest visuals that you can possibly imagine. But for some reason, sometimes we kind of don't get it. Does it represent Christian theology? This author called it the intellectual answer. Or does it, does it stand for the church? That's the institutional answer. What about Jesus? That's the Sunday school answer. Jesus, that's the answer. Jesus, right? Jesus. Obedience to Jesus' teachings. That's the correct answer. It's not that the other answers are wrong, but the thrust of what Jesus is saying in this parable. It's really getting at that obedience to what he's saying. And you got to choose. (laughs) Are you human? Are you breathing? Okay, you better choose. So how are you going to build your life? Is it going to be to obedience of Jesus' teachings or to other things? This word, phronimos, one who has learned to live prudently, not only knows the truth, but acts on it. The foolish man is a moros. You laugh because if you change that last letter, <laughs> or would you like to be the moron that builds his house on sand? Who are you calling a moron, Jesus? Jesus is not playing around. You have a choice on how you can orient your life. Jeff, you were obviously sleepy when you made this slide because you used the same house on both sides. <laughs> It's not really about the non-Christian and the Christian. And the Christian builds on the rock. And the non-Christian builds on the... That's not really what he's getting at. What he's saying is, no, these houses look pretty similar. It's like to the naked eye, you can't really tell. You know, you get the picture of two people trying to build a house or whatever. And one guy, oh, I'm going to build over here. Another guy, oh, I'll just build over here. So sometimes, you know, to the naked eye, especially in East Cobb, I'm sorry. You can look, you can say all the right Christian things. You can attend all the right good stuff. And from the outside, you can look look good. You got all the Christian lingo, everything down. But, you know, really the only person that really knows that foundation is not going to be you or me initially. Jesus says, don't retaliate the way other people come at you. What if somebody betrays your trust? Ooh, that's a tough one. What are you supposed to do? Let them have it. Lay into them. Give them the cold shoulder. Let them feel it. All right. Or maybe you might want to think about forgiveness. How do you put this stuff into practice? You keep digging until your life can look like what it says in here. And it's not easy, but God is with you.